Are you doing your own bookkeeping of your Amazon business? In this video, you will learn why you should not do it yourself. What are the most common bookkeeping mistakes Amazon sellers do? Also, what are the most important financial metrics business owners must be aware of? Our guest in this video is Nathan Hirsch from Ecom Balance, who scaled his Amazon business to over 25 million in total sales and had successful exit. Now his mission at Ecom Balance is to help e-commerce businesses to master their monthly bookkeeping so they can better understand their numbers and make smarter business decisions. If you would like to get help uh, with bookkeeping for your e-commerce business, check the link below to see how Ecom Balance can help you. And they also have a special offer for you. Hi, today I'm here with Nathan Hirsch from Ecom Balance to talk about how this service helps Amazon sellers to uh, keep their finances in order. So Nathan, could you first introduce yourself and also share uh, a little bit about your background to understand better why you are now uh, offering the service, service to Amazon sellers? Absolutely. And, and thanks so much for having me. So I've been in the e-com space for over 10 years and I've been an entrepreneur my, my whole life. I've never had a, a real job. <clears throat> I started selling on Amazon back in 2008 and sold $25 million from 2008 to 2015. And I scaled that business using a lot of virtual assistants and freelancers, which led me to, to start the Free Up Marketplace, which a lot of people know is a pre-vetted marketplace for hiring virtual assistants and freelancers, helping e-commerce sellers hire better. That company, we scaled eight figures, and it was acquired at the end of 2019. And the reason we were able to have that business acquired was not only great hiring and great processes, was great financials. We had immaculate books going back four years. And when we talked to the potential buyers, we knew our numbers inside and out. Everything that we told them on the initial call matched everything that they went through on due diligence. And so we learned a lot from that experience, making really good decisions every month based on real numbers and trends and comparing this month to the last month and the month before. So after we sold FreeUp, we decided to we decided to look how we can stay in the e-commerce space, but do something different that's not about hiring. And bookkeeping and finances was a natural fit. So we spent six months doing a lot of market research, talking to people in the e-commerce space, but looking at other competitors, other e-commerce bookkeeping services. And we built a strong e-commerce bookkeeping team, both here in Denver, Colorado, and also in the Philippines. And so we spent a lot of time building systems, building processes, doing a beta round with about 30 clients to put them through it and really break our processes and, and help improve and streamline everything. And now we're up and running. We have over 50 clients. Our core service is monthly bookkeeping, where we charge clients on the first of every month. We get them their income statement, balance sheet, cash flow by the 15th of every month. We can help with catch up and cleanup work, and we can also help with add-on services like payroll, sales tax, ARAP. But our core service is monthly bookkeeping, where we help people really understand their numbers and make great decisions every month based on what the numbers are telling them. Okay, very good. Thank you for this introduction. So uh, you have been seller yourself. So uh, when is the right time to start using a service like you offer? Uh, should sellers first try to do bookkeeping on their sales or when is the right time to, you know, switch to a service provider? So I'm of the mentality that no serious entrepreneur should ever be doing their own books for one of two reasons. First of all, it's not a good use of your time. And I've learned this in my other businesses. For my Amazon business, I spent so many hours every single month doing my own bookkeeping. And that pulled me away from new products and new sales channels and launching in other marketplaces. And second of all, most entrepreneurs aren't very good at bookkeeping. Back when I was doing bookkeeping for my own Amazon business, a lot of that work had to just get redone anyway once we hired a bookkeeper and they knew what they were doing. So cleanup work costs way more than just doing it correctly from day one. So I learned that lesson with my first business. With my second business, even before we were profitable, we hired a bookkeeping service from day one. And that really helped us because we would be able to look at reports, even if it was just expenses, see where our money was going, see the cash going in and going out and make decisions each month on do we increase payroll? Do we focus on a specific sales channel or pull back on something or, or spend money on marketing? So 
For me, you should get bookkeeping set up in a new business as early as possible. You want to have clean books going back through day one. And not only is that going to help you make good decisions, it's also going to make tax time less stressful. It's going to help you get funding or investment down the line. And if you ever want to sell your business, you need clean books. There's no way around it. So hire a good bookkeeping service. You have probably in your work and overall, um, you have seen a lot of different profiles of sellers and bookkeeping they have done. So if you could highlight what are some of the biggest mistakes Amazon sellers usually do, um, perhaps you can help someone now to yeah save their bookkeeping. <laughs> Yeah. So the two common mistakes when it comes to e-commerce bookkeeping is, first of all, the top line on the income statement. A lot of people will take the money that's deposited into their bank account, and that'll be the top line in their income statement. When really the money that Amazon sells, your, your sales, that's the top line. And then there's different fees and returns and refunds and, and shipping. And then you've got the net that's into your bank account. And you really need a tool. We use A2X. There's a few other competitors out there, but you need something to connect from Amazon or you might sell in other marketplaces too, to the QuickBooks or the Zero account that you're using, which is the bookkeeping software, in order to pull in that data and make sure that everything reconciles. A lot of people that use bookkeepers that don't understand e-commerce, they're just taking that net from the bank account. They're not factoring in Amazon fees and everything that goes with it. And you will not have accurate numbers. You will not be able to sell your business and you won't file your taxes correctly if you do it that way. Now, the second thing is inventory and cost of goods sold. A lot of people, a lot of people in e-commerce will do cash basis accounting, which means when you charge your credit card or when money appears in your bank account, that's when it goes in your books. When really you need a cruel basis because you need to be able to show inventory and cost of goods sold when you actually sell that product, not necessarily when you buy it. So if you buy $50,000 worth of inventory in January, you need to be able to show that over January, February, March, April, not just as a $50,000 expense in January. So that's another common mistake that, that people make um, in e-commerce is not having their books on a cruel basis instead of cash. Okay. And are there any specific financial, let's say, aspects or elements Amazon sellers uh, should, I don't know, follow by monthly basis, yearly basis? What are the most uh, important ones? Yeah. So our service is a monthly bookkeeping service because that's what we've set up in all of our businesses. A lot of people will try to do it every quarter or they'll try to do it at the end of the year and just dump it on their accountant. What you want is a good system where every time the month ends, within 10 to 15 days, you get an income statement, cash flow, and balance sheet. And then you should have a meeting on your calendar every single month in the middle of the month with your business partner, your team leader, your bookkeeper, whoever it is. And you should go through those reports and compare the current month to the previous month, the current month, to the same month last year, and make decisions based on those numbers. And that should be on autopilot every single month. We talked about this before. You shouldn't be doing your own bookkeeping. You don't even need to log into QuickBooks or Zero. But you do need to have an automatic monthly system in place where you get those reports on time every single month and you have that meeting in your calendar. Okay, very good. So I think uh, for a lot of Amazon sellers, uh, bookkeeping and finances could be a little bit like overwhelming and they're a little bit afraid to have anything encouraging to say to them that would help them to kind of, you know, lay everything down and, and just for them to understand better that they do have control if they use the right services or softwares. Yeah. So a, a good way to think about it is you need A2X or a software to connect from your marketplaces to your software. And you want to use either QuickBooks or Xero. Those are the biggest two. There's a lot of free software out there that's free for a reason. Use QuickBooks or Xero. You'll be happy that you did it. And focus more on the monthly bookkeeping process than how to actually do your books. Don't go out there and buy a course on how to use QuickBooks or anything like that. You don't need to learn bookkeeping. You do need to learn how to read financial reports and being able to read an income statement and a balance sheet and a cash flow statement is incredibly important in business, whether it's your own business, whether it's investing in businesses, whether it's um, buying stocks and, and investing in the stock market, you need to know how to read those three sheets. And it doesn't necessarily have to come on day one. If you're looking at those sheets every single month on autopilot because there's a meeting in your calendar, you will get better and better and better at doing it. It is a skill that can be learned 
Focus more on understanding those sheets and knowing the numbers of your business and less how to do the technical aspects of QuickBooks or bookkeeping. Okay, good. Thank you very much for this overview. So Ecom Balance, do you work only with US-based uh, companies or only Amazon sellers who, let's say, sell on US marketplace or can sellers uh, be selling on different marketplaces? Yep, we work with all sellers in different countries, different marketplaces. Bookkeeping is bookkeeping. Uh, it's generally accepted accounting principles. Uh, we don't do any tax work at this time. So we work directly with your CPA or your tax provider, uh, but we'll handle the monthly bookkeeping and be able to pass it over to them. Um, yeah, we, we work with clients all around the world. We also have a, a team that handles non-e-commerce businesses. Sometimes you have e-commerce sellers who own a second or third business or a rental property or whatever it is. And we can also handle that as well. But my background and my business partner's background is in the e-commerce space. And we set out to build the best e-commerce monthly bookkeeping solution out there. Okay. And how fast uh, is usually the process of uh, onboarding new sellers? If anyone is listening to us right now and thinks your service is exactly what they need and they would like to um, yeah, start using your services. Yes. So the process is you create a free account on our site, you fill out a, a quick pricing questionnaire and you give us access to your current books. From there, we're able to give you a custom pricing quote, and that quote depends on your business setup, the number of transactions, and the number of marketplaces that you sell on. Assuming you're good with the quote and you add a payment method, then we'll get started with any kind of catch up and cleanup work. And from there, it really depends on, um, on how much, how backlogged your books are. If your books are two years behind, it's going to take us a little bit of time. If your books are uh, pretty caught up, we should be able to hit the ground running and we'll get you integrated in that process. So we'll make it easy by getting access to your, your bank accounts, your credit cards, view only access and your marketplaces so that we don't have to ask you for statements on every little thing. So Give us information, get a quote, get integrated, let us catch or clean up your books depending on where you're at, and then we'll get started on monthly books where we'll charge you on the first and get you books by the 15th. The average client gets going in that 30 to 90 day range, but we have some clients that get started faster because their books are caught up or they have a, a big project for us to do and, and we need more time. Okay, so uh, as usually experts like to say, it depends uh, on a lot of different factors, but uh, hopefully uh, our viewers have everything more or less already uh, in order, so the onboarding will be uh, quick as well. So uh, Nathan, do you have anything else you would like to add to our viewers who um, would like to either know more about your service uh, or overall understand why it's so important uh, what you do and, and what you currently offer for Amazon sellers? Yeah. So if you go to ecombalance.com, I mentioned that you should run a monthly meeting with your team or with your business partner. We have an agenda that you can download, our financial meeting agenda. And this is the same meeting that my business partner, Connor, and I have been running for six plus years. It helped us sell millions of dollars. It helped us exit a company. And we still do it with Ecombalance and our own books there. So Download that, check it out, implement it in your business. It's one of the quickest things you can do to make better decisions going forward. And feel free to connect with me, Nathan Hirsch, or my business partner, Connor Gillivan, on social media, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. And lastly, if you go to ecombalance.com and you are ready for a bookkeeping service, fill out a pricing quote and mention this video and you'll get two months free of bookkeeping to try us out. We want to prove the service to you and have build a long-term working relationship that's a win-win. Sounds awesome. So Nathan, thanks again for joining me today to talk about how Ecombalance help Amazon sellers and overall why uh, bookkeeping is so important for Amazon sellers. So thanks again and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Here at Orange Click, we recommend to outsource your e-commerce business bookkeeping to Ecombalance. Uh, if you feel they might help you, check the link below in the description and get a special offer from them if you sign up through our link. And while you're still here, don't forget to click the like button below and subscribe to our channel. And now I invite you to watch other video with Nathan where he talks about bookkeeping for e-commerce business in more depth.